Hello everyone, well today we are going to talk about why you should give your GDs. What is a GD? Why you should give it? What should be your perception while giving GD? We are going to talk everything regarding GDs, okay? GD is like cheat code. If you use it properly, no one can beat you in the game. Okay, so what is GD? GD is grand test. People also call it as mock test. And basically what is it? GD is the replica of your exam day. Do you guys realize how important that is? Now let us see the importance of GD from an example. There are two people. This one goes to gym. This one doesn't go to gym. So now the person who doesn't go to gym is asked to do 10 push-ups. What will happen? He'll be sore. There is a high chance he won't be able to complete even 10 push-ups and he'll feel like he's gonna die. Hmm? On the contrary, the person who goes to gym daily, it's cakewalk for him. Don't you think? He can do 100 push-ups, maybe 20, but obviously better than the one who doesn't go to gym, right? So GD is like your gym. Do you have any idea how hard it is to think continuously for two and a half hours? The person who doesn't go to gym, if you don't, practice. So GD will improve your mental stamina. It will uh, help you protect against mental fatigue muscle cramping ni hoga dimaka if you you know give a lot of gds okay so first benefit was to improve your mental stamina second benefit you will get used to the drill you know what's the drill the drill is ki ye question nahi aaya to dusra question karne ka hai wahi agar if you don't give gds and uh, for example this question is pretty tough next question is also tough next question usse zyada tough if you don't have the habit of facing this difficult situation you there is a high possibility that you will have mental block and if there's some sort of mental block on the day of exam gayo result gone do you think that it will be a good result of course not of course not third benefit setting the rhythm now third benefit is highly highly important do you guys remember the experiment uh, of conditioning that was done on the dog where he salivates on the bell ring you guys remember that right yeah uh, question so what happens is you can set your timer you can set your mental timer exam happens from 9 o'clock till 11 30 then from 11 30 till 2 o'clock there's break and then from 2 o'clock till 4 30 again exam so what you can do is every fifth day i used to give gd so i used to give gd from 9 to 11 30 take a break how i would do on the day of exam like exactly that schedule i was following so my mind got used to the pattern of time no baje wo sota nahi tha my mind was pretty active at that given amount of time it was conditioned to work hard to think about solving the questions on that time and on the day of exam it's gonna help you these little things are gonna pile up and gonna be immensely helpful to you so we saw three benefits right the fourth benefit is um it's a shortcut it's a cheat code of course i always say that gt is like a cheat code if you know how to use it properly no one can beat you so what will gt do gt is the difference between 149 and above 150 gt is the only difference you know it's the differentiating factor not knowledge but gt so the fifth and pretty logical one is time management you will know how to manage your time on the day of exam obviously the, 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 we are so tense i used to solve my gds pretty fast uh, two and a half hours instead of that i used to just finish it in one and a half hour so my speed was very fast but you know on the day of exam i just remember seeing the first question and i remember seeing the last question in between i don't remember because you just get so engrossed and like <laughs> and you just like read it twice and stuff and uh, i'm so thankful to myself for solving gds because if i didn't give gd nahi i would have definitely had panic attack anxiety attack kya kya ho jata so yeah i think gd was like um, a vaccine to me <laughs> for panic attacks and it worked wonders for me i will never stop talking about gd okay the sixth benefit obviously is handling stress you know um, the amount of stress that you face when uh, you're not able to solve the question especially on the day of exam 
So, you know, to handle the stress, what you need to do is solve a lot of G's so that you get used to this feeling ki ye wala nahi aara to thik hai, aage bandne ka hai. Nahi to aap solve nahi kar paoge. This only comes with practice. For that, you need to stop listening to me, open your app and start giving GT right now. Okay. Uh, well, the seventh benefit is quick decisions. The last me jo do options bachte the, they were so close, like unnis bees. It was so difficult to decide. And giving GDs will help you decide fast. Okay, so eighth benefit of giving GDs is that you're gonna learn a heck lot. You have no idea how much you are going to learn from GDs. Because uh, there are so many underrated questions that you'll encounter in GD. And there's a high possibility that exam day will be that question. Aenge. So, you know, you will not only get used to different variety of questions, but uh, you will also get a lot of augmentation material. Means you have your main source. These are my notes. Hai. These are my notes. But you know, so many questions and so many explanations and so many notes you're going to encounter while analyzing your GT. You can add those whatever points you learn from GT to your main source. So it is a amazing augmentation material. Ninth benefit of giving GD is that it is absolutely amazing revision tool. Because in GD, all 19 subjects get covered. You know, they'll integrate everything, they'll put masala and everything in the GD, and it is a perfect form of revising, getting in touch with all the 19 subjects. So, you have a quick, quick revision in GD. Mein. You're not wasting your time giving GDs and keeping on analyzing it. You get in contact, you get in touch with all the 19 subjects while giving GT and that is the shortest way possible to revise your all 19 subjects is the shortest way possible. So by now, I think I've convinced you guys enough that you should give GTs and you should give GTs, dete chahiye, right? Uh, the last benefit, 10th benefit of giving GT is that mindset. I always talk about mindset. You know why I talk about it? Because your perception, your mindset is so important. On the day of exam, if your mindset is not proper, it's gone. What is mindset? I think that is your default status, default state of mind, which you uh, develop kar loge by giving GD. You understand what emotions should I block for you know focusing on the question and stuff. That state of mind, jo hai, Usi ko main mindset keh rahi ho. On the day of exam, that is going to be extremely, extremely, I cannot even stress this enough. It's going to be extremely beneficial and important. You know, after giving a lot of GDs, you'll have developed some sort of techniques, jo ki question pad liya, ye wala dekha, eliminate kar liya, fir ye wala dekha, eliminate kar liya, in dono ki probability kya hai, ye wala konse isme aayega, aya tha, ya fir like some sort of, you know, your own little shenanigans, cheat codes, ye sab develop ho jaya. Unknowing. So yeah, you know, to program your mind, uh, get into that zone, understand the drill and everything, uh, you just have to solve a lot of GDs. And now I'm quickly gonna read all the 10 benefits so that I, you know, impress it in your minds. Uh, so first benefit is obviously improving your mental stamina. Second one is you'll get used to the drill. Third one is setting up the rhythm. Exam paper job hoga tabhi aap uh, GDs doge. Usi time period ko aap GDs doge so that your mind get used to solving questions at that time period. That is setting up your rhythm. Fourth one is that GD is sort of like a cheat code, shortcut to revise all the 19 subjects in one go. Um, fifth one is time management. You guys know how important time management is when it comes to exam. Sixth one is handling stress. You'll get used to handle stress. Um, seventh one is quick decisions. You will become decisive enough to, you know, choose one option. And that just comes by solving a lot of GDs. Eighth one is you are going to learn a heck a lot of information from GDs. Ninth one is GD is equal to your revision source and you can quickly, uh, you know, revise everything uh, via GD. Tenth one is mindset. You are going to develop a certain state of mind that is going to be immensely helpful. All for today, I hope you guys understand the importance of GD now and I hope that you're pretty serious and no matter what, no matter how much fear you're facing right now, overcome it. And you just have to give GD. Don't think much. If you are not going to be switch off. And you will be bad. And it will be bad. Just you know, just chill out. Don't take stress. Okay? Take a chill pill. Uh, Sit, put 
today i guess and if you have any queries regarding what source or like uh, gd anything uh, you can either dm me on instagram if i don't reply on the comment but i'll try my level best and as you guys know by now i reply to each and every comment so yeah comment like share subscribe wo to hai hi apna uh, if you guys love your friends and you guys want ki ye mera best friend hai isko to marks aane chahiye send this to him or her okay cuz i think uh, it's going to be pretty helpful and bye